subtle. Well, that was it was other tournaments also that he was winning. Yeah. So it was not you know even if he wasn't right. winning every. Team, but we're but. in it, Town and City. Yeah, so. that's gonna be game one. I'm very curious as to why they went to this stage. I think I guess it's decent for both players. Yeah. But look at that pressure. I know Tilde likes the stage because not many other Falcons do, but Tilde is just willing to take people here. Well, I think that Tilda's combos and his overall, the way that he's able to link hits one into the other, actually kind of take advantage of that weird platform layout. He definitely will, like, go for specific things to exploit it as best he can. Yeah. Uh, but this is the FD variant. I think this is probably why John was okay with going to this stage. Is because, oh, look at that. Yeah. Already so much damage off of this edge guard, and it's still going. Yeah, just pushing Tilda from one side of the stage to another. <laughs> He's like, yo, here's here's the windows, here's the backyard. <laughs> I'm taking you for like the MTV Cribs yeah. tour of Diamond City. <laughs> okay, so they good reversal off the corner. Wow, yeah. look at that wiggle. Definitely Tilda realized he was not able to really effectively punish it. And with that, Numbers actually takes a lead with that back air. Yeah, no, the back air is so strong and comes out so quick. And 36% off of two hits? <gasps> oh, it's not just two hits. It's three and 52. Yo, someone nerf we fit. <laughs> I mean, okay. On the other hand, it feels like there are not many people representing this character. Numbers is probably the best one out there right now. Yeah. And, I mean, right now, actually having a lead on Tilde, that's really big. Let's see if he's able to take it all the way to the bank, though. Yeah, 66%, even on, like, this your second stock is nothing scoffer, but he definitely wants to take another stock, and he does. The sour spot counter still enough, and that's numbers with two stock lead right now in game one. Yeah. Oh. All right, one stock lead. <laughs> yeah. Until they's like, yo, slow down. <laughs> oh no! Yeah. You missed your tech. You take 65, dude. Yo, you gotta step it up, kid. <laughs> oh, I like that. I think you specifically went for those options. Oh. Uh, okay. Yeah, he's done. All right. Yeah. There it is. Game one. I, I swear, Tilda's a good player. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like yeah, now all yeah, of a sudden we yeah. have to do that for Til Tilda because that game was I absolutely like if brutal. You're a frequent viewer, you would know Tilda's good, but <laughs> if you, this is your first time, it ain't looking so hot right now. I mean, we do have you know at least two more game or like at least one more game to get through. Yeah. Uh, and it's going to be two if Tilda manages to take it. And he is also a really good player in his own right, being able to adapt, adjust. And one thing that wasn't happening to numbers in that game was he wasn't, like, like A, he took a huge advantage of whenever he got even a little yeah, bit of stage look, like, look at these offstage, like, yeah. interactions. But also, on stage, the neutral was just so good for numbers. Uh, kind of Tilda struggling to find a single hit, which is unusual for him. Yeah, and good job for Tilda to jump out early before the up tilt even comes out. A lot of players do get caught by jumping a tad bit late. Okay, and okay. This is where things can actually get really rough for numbers. Oh, but even then, okay, I like this. Still continuing the combo. The yeah. fact that Falco can pressure from just about anywhere is huge. Yeah. Tilda is like, yo, you thought you escaped? I'm, I'm, all, I'm coming here. All right. He like does it. like a DBZ teleport, man. Yeah. <laughs> With this music? <laughs> Definitely sounds like some DBZ stuff. All right, Baron just getting through. Oh, Tilde wanted it all right there. And it might just cost him if he doesn't survive this interaction. Oh, that's Numbers. Great tech, though. Still going. Yeah. That was an amazing edge guard from Numbers. It doesn't matter how many times you tech. You're still forced into that up B, and Numbers is going to be ready for you. Yeah, and the deep breathing saving him from that um, interaction right there, because Tilde did the up, up tilt bear. And just because of deep breathing, he just he didn't get sent to the blast zone. Yeah, and oh man, look at all this pressure that Tilda is putting up himself. Yeah, but he can't take the stock right now from Numbers, and that's the key thing. So and if Numbers manages to hold his stock and deal some damage. Yeah, and the way that Numbers is playing is so fantastic. I want to just point out that we have not seen a single Sun Salutation reflected. Oh, you're and, right. Which is, normally that's a really big part, because Falco can kind of throw that move out pretty freely. But Numbers is not just willy-nilly throwing out those Sun Salutations. Understanding the risk, I think it shows a cognizance that, oh, can really possibly bring him all the way to a victory. Yeah, numbers with a game plan. Man, that's scary. <laughs> oh, man. 
Oh, oh thanks for that big yeah. lead. Down tilt taking it right there. And it's the sort of thing where, you know, Tilda definitely can manage to make this comeback. Yeah, are we about to see the cinematic universe to tie this up? Okay. Okay. Yeah. This is how things start. Deep breathing actually, you know, because he takes reduced damage, can reduce the knockback. Oh, that 65%. Yeah. Not respecting numbers with the aggressive option, though. No, he was not. And the little push-ups to get past the lasers. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's, keep doing it. Oh! oh! <laughs> he called us by the start. That, I cannot believe. All right, Numbers is kind of in in, a, in his own yeah. world right now. He's, he is, he's playing fabulous. I've, I've, I haven't seen Numbers play like this in a long time. Doing mind games on top of this, like, beautiful game plan. This is, uh, I, I, I feel like, you know, Tilde definitely still can take this. Numbers at 100%. If he hits him with the right move, this, this he is, could even it up. But This is vintage Numbers. With the platform movement now? It's, he's looking so clean, so slick. Tilda's struggling to find his way into an advantage state at all. Yeah. Okay. But 101%. That's pretty scary. Because, yeah. like, one one back air can definitely kill you. And the F2, oh! oh! And that's it. Numbers taking it over Tilda. That's the... I mean... What an upset right there. Yeah. Numbers definitely no slouch, and there was always perhaps the possibility of that happening, but I was not expecting it. The yeah. way he was playing tonight, I think he actually has a shot against the buzz based on how commanding that set just now was. Yo, I don't want to jinx it, man, but I, I think he might be right. <laughs> I mean, look at this. This edge guard was so amazing. Yeah, that was so great. I think that he maybe could have gone for an air dodge up, well, to get yeah. to the ledge, especially here. That was the one where he could have gone for air dodge up. But even then, numbers could have punished it. Yeah. You know? It's like, there's so many situations where you could have chose. But it's like, those were split second Yeah. Split second reaction. So I was like, man. And already you're like, oh, thank God I got the tech. Yeah. You know? It's so hard to, like, not only get the tech, but then think the next two steps ahead when it's just like a, such a scramble off stage like that it can be difficult and numbers taking advantage of it that's a 2-0 victory for numbers and not only that but like a solid 2-0 victory was that both games a two stock uh i don't think game one was a two stock it was a one stock was it yeah and this game wasn't oh yeah that's stock. right this yeah. game because he oh he did overextend right there yeah. he was feeling himself maybe a little bit too he was like you know let me be a bit spicy